for all things Halloween and now apparently Christmas, this is Haunt Former. And today, everyone, seeing that the season of Christmas is here and Christmas is right around the corner, I am doing some Christmas themed horror movie reviews for you guys. That way, you get your Christmas fill and your Halloween fill at the same time because Haunt Former is for all things Halloween. So, where's not a better place to start than the 1984 horror Christmas classic, Silent Night, Deadly Night. So, Silent Night opens with the story of a young boy named Billy driving with his parents to visit his grandfather who is in a mental institution. And while there, his grandfather tells him that Santa Claus is good to good kids, but punishes naughty children and naughty people in general. This freaks Billy out, and it is even later emphasized when Billy and his family run into a maniac Santa Claus who kills his parents. I, uh, I don't exactly know why we didn't get a, you know, more in-depth backstory to this killer Santa, because at first it was shown that he was just robbing a store, and then he shot the clerk dead, so was he a murderer, a killer, what was his motive? Maybe he was just nuts, I don't know, but I wish that kind of would have been explored more, because it sets up the rest of the film. After this, it cuts to an orphanage where Billy is young and, and deals with many different aspects of life, and uh, Mother Superior uh, is, you know, beating down hard on him, and he doesn't want to become naughty. It then cuts to later in his life, where he is, I think, I think he's around the age of 18, and he is, you know, big and strong and muscular, and he works at this toy store, um, stocking shelves and stuff like that, and eventually he becomes their mascot, Santa Claus, and uh, through a weird, like, uh, situation at a party, he believes that he is Santa Claus, and he has to punish naughty people, and it sets him on a murder spree, which lasts throughout the end of the film, and it finally ends with uh, Billy's death at the end. I mean, spoilers, duh, it's from 1984. This movie, uh, going into it, I was not sure of what to expect. I knew it was going to be sort of cheesy, and yes, it is. It's got some very cheesy music to it, um, and some very cheesy catch lines as well. I really like the fact, though, that instead of focusing on all of the victims of the killer, it focuses more on the killer itself, himself and kind of dives into his past. And I thought that was a really cool look at a killer because no one starts out, you know, going super crazy and murdering people. There's always a start to it, and I thought that was a really cool thing that they did in this movie. The only disappointment, well, it's a big disappointment to me, is that as soon as the killing starts to happen, I lose all of the character of Billy, and it just focuses on him murdering a bunch of people, and it really becomes nonsensical. I really didn't enjoy that part. Um, the best parts were when he was younger, and you got more of an eerie look at his life. And once the killings actually started, it lost me, basically. Um, there was nothing very interesting going on with him murdering people. It was just kind of senseless murders just because it's a horror movie. And uh, I don't know. I didn't really like that part. I thought it was really good at the beginning. And then it got weird. And then towards the end, he just was saying, punish. And it wasn't even a character anymore. So, I don't know. Kind of lost me there. Overall, though, I thought this was an interesting movie. It had elements of Christmas in it. The killer Santa was an interesting idea. And I really thought they could have expanded more on, you know, his formation into a killer. It would have been far more interesting than seeing a, a cheesy uh, 80s murder spree towards the end. Um, so that I didn't really care for. But I hope they could have done something different. And maybe they'll do some sort of... Or I know they did a remake, but maybe they can do another remake where they kind of fix that aspect of it. I know this is a, a very controversial movie too. A lot of people really like it. A lot of people hate it. Overall, I thought it was an interesting idea, but it kind of fell flat for me. So overall, I'm going to give Silent Night, Deadly Night a 2.5 out of 5 skulls. Thank you all so much for watching this review, and make sure to subscribe because remember as always, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.